Hey everyone, Ava here today. I am at ALDC LA with one of the stars of Dance Moms. Introduce yourself for us. Hi, I'm Peyton Ackerman. And this is On The Spot Interviews. Well, it is so great to meet you. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing good. I'm so glad that uh, we were able to make this work. You just got out of actually teaching a hip-hop class. How did that go? That was actually my first class I've ever taught, and it ended up being two hours. It was really fun. I liked it. The girls worked hard. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I could tell. I kept walking by the window, not in a creepy way, but we had to find somewhere to eat. And I saw you guys were really working hard. Mm -hmm. And it was hip-hop, hip too. Now, I normally don't see you do a lot of hip-hop on the show, but do you wish you could do more? or Hip-hop is actually my forte. Oh, okay. um, we did a, I did two combinations with that class that I just taught. So the first I did more girly, but... My favorite dance style is hip-hop, so mm -hmm. I changed it up a little bit. But Abby likes to compete lyrical because yeah. hip-hop is really hard to win with at competitions. But since I graduated high school and I'm coming out to, to live in L.A., oh, I'm going to be doing a lot more hip-hop. Oh, okay, that's so exciting. And hip-hop yes. is huge in L.A. Yes. So, mm -hmm. Yes, I hope to dance for someone someday. Ooh, <laughs> you, mind, you never know who's watching. You mind saying who you would like to work with? Justin Timberlake, Beyonce, um, anybody, really. Mm -hmm. Jason Derulo. Yes, mm -hmm. right. Oh, my gosh, and he's on So You Think You Can Dance yes, Now. Yes, I know. So, mm -hmm. Yes. Now, would you ever try out for that type of show, or are you, like, kind of an, under a contract where you are not allowed to, like, be on any other dance shows? I am not on Dance Moms anymore, oh, you're so not I that. am able to try out for So You Think, but I think I'm going to train a few more years when mm -hmm. I'm out here and try to get my name out before I go. That's there. smart. Well, wow, you're, you're a marketing whiz. I can tell. <laughs> Abby trained me well. <laughs> she did, yeah. So tell us about your relationship with Abby off camera, because I know how, you know, that stuff gets twisted. So I've been dancing at Abby since I was 11, and I didn't join the show until I was 14. Okay. Um, before I went to her studio, I went to a different studio, and she was friends with the owner, so it wasn't a bad relationship. Mm -hmm. And I had an older sister who actually danced for Abby, too. And on the show, it seems like we fight a lot and don't get along, but actually she flew me out here. She gave me the opportunity to teach. Um, she's coming to my nationals with me starting tomorrow. And she really is like a second mom to me. I mean, I feel safe with her. Mm -hmm. She stayed in the hotel with me. She just, she would give the shirt off of her back for anyone. Wow. So, yeah. And yeah. that's the way the few times I've met her, that's what yes. I've seen. So, you know, that, that's great that she really is a nice person. It, it shocks people when they meet her. They're like, whoa, you're, you're nice. And she's like, I know. Yeah. <laughs> oh, she says, I know. That's great. I love when people agree with their compliments. <laughs> I know. <laughs> cool. So uh, you mentioned you graduated high school. Yes. Um, how was being, were you at like a regular high school? I went to public school. Mm -hmm. I tried cyber school, eighth grade, but it was really hard to keep up with that and do the television show because mm -hmm. I was doing self-pace, which meant that I taught myself. Oh, wow. So I went back in ninth grade and then I finished through there, but I was missing a lot. So they got mm -hmm. an on, uh, tutor for on-site. So oh, yeah. Our grades never fell. We were always staying because Abby would never let us yeah. get bad grades and continue dancing. Yeah, even though she says, like, dance comes first, I can tell that you yes. guys are still very involved in schoolwork. Yes. She so. wants us to be educated because you have to be. You, you have to be. You have to have business. something to fall back Exactly, on. yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So in high school, did people, like, come up to you? Like, how did that work? Because obviously there's bound to be some people who watch the show. Yes. Well, when it first started... I was in eighth grade, mm -hmm. so people were shocked at first because that was right when it started, too, the show, and we didn't expect it to get this big. And I've had the same boyfriend all throughout high school, mm -hmm. so he kind of was like my go-to person. Guard. Yes, <laughs> yes, because some people, you know, say bad things about it, which doesn't bother me because everybody has their opinion, but mm -hmm. he would be there to stand up for me. But there are a lot of people that support the show and more than that hate on it, which is good. Yeah. yeah. As long as the percentage of likers are, is more, I guess that's all that matters. Well, we're, they're going on to their sixth season, so people have to like it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I love it. I've been watching since the first season. Thanks. Of course. So you're positive you're not returning, or are you just like, you can't say? I am positive because I will be moving to LA in September, mm -hmm. and they are still in school and oh, live in Pittsburgh, true. so... I'll be trying to do other jobs, mm -hmm. hopefully. No, you will. I'm sure you will. <laughs> Thank yeah. you. You're already out here. I mean, you taught a master class. There was a great turnout. So. <laughs> Thank you. Of course. And uh, which of the girls also on the show would you say you, um, you're closest with and then the one who you think would make like the most compatible duet partner? 
I am closest with, I would have to say Mackenzie, believe it or not. Oh, and so Maddie, bad. but Maddie's really busy mm -hmm. these days. Melissa was my mom's best friend, and well, she still is, but she's always gone, yeah. I'm saying. And I don't know, Mackenzie's like my little sister, mm -hmm. and they're very supportive, all the girls are. But best duet partner, I think personality-wise, Kendall is the closest okay. to me. We're both like crazy and <laughs> energetic, and we both like to do jazz. That's oh. probably so. I think Kendall would make a good duet partner for mm -hmm. me. Well, that'd be so cute if that ever <laughs> does happen. Yeah, cool. uh, or Nia. Oh yeah, I could see Nia too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's awesome. So all the girls, pretty. Much. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and um, this is on the spot interviews. So aside from business, I like to do some fun questions. Sure. Um, so I always start with this one: celebrity crush. Channing Tatum. Oh, I've heard that one a few or times. Zac Efron. <laughs> yes, he has a new movie coming out. It's something with the word friends in it. I can't remember what I it's don't called. Know. I love him, especially yeah. when he's shirtless. Oh, yes, that's the best, right? <laughs> and his eyes, too, are so bright. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> it's like having a fangirl moment. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> and uh, have you ever been starstruck? Like, I know you've done Teen Choice and stuff, like meeting someone. When I went to Teen Choice, Probably One Direction got me, because that's when I was really into them. I still am, but they broke up, so. I know. Wait, they broke up, or Zayn just left? I think Harry's leaving now, too. What? I don't know. I oh heard I heard that. But they, they're they really, you'd be surprised. Everybody's so, like, down to earth. And yeah. I really liked meeting Twitch, too. He's a dancer, so. Oh, from So You Think. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I, I love the dance world, so I try to keep up with everyone. He in actually here. is married to a girl that is my sister's best friend because they were on the same television show. So, oh, yeah, okay. small world. And then isn't your sister on Bet Tomorrow? Yes, she is for Hit the Floor. She's a devil girl. That is so cool. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Do you guys, like, support each other? Absolutely. Good. Yeah. Good. She's my reason why I started dancing. Oh, that's so sweet. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> and uh, your favorite dance, com like favorite dance apparel line and then your favorite store to shop in general? Favorite dance is actually probably Abby's wear because I'm wearing it. Oh. But it's really soft mm -hmm. and I sweat a lot and it doesn't leave marks or oh. like it's able to not smell. It's, it's weird. It's a really good, good line. Okay. And then my favorite store to shop Dancing wise, I, don't know, I like Capizio, mm -hmm. Lululemon, but clothing wise, I like PacSun. Oh, <laughs> yes. Oh, they got them all around in this yeah. area. So. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and um, your favorite food? Steak. Oh, With yes. Ketchup. Ketchup. I've never heard that. No, it's not <laughs> weird. I just haven't heard it. Do you like, like what cut ribeye or everything? My dad yeah. owns a restaurant back home, so I just grew up with every food, liking every food. Oh, that's <laughs> awesome. You're not picky then, are no, you? No, not at all. And have you been to Millions of Milkshakes before? Uh -huh. And what's your favorite flavor there? I get the, I forget what it's called, but it's the strawberry banana. Mm, that sounds good. Like Maybe it. it's just called strawberry banana. <laughs> probably has a celebrity name, yeah, though. Probably. <laughs> Hopefully one day I will. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that'd be so cool. No, I feel like that'd be so cool. Except they need to update their TVs because they're not HD. They need an Abby milkshake. They do. They have everything in it. <laughs> What's a moment from Dance Moms that you wish like got aired? One because it was like amazing, and then two, not necessarily wanted it to air, but something that's like an OMG moment. The first one that I wish aired would have to be the girls. And myself and Abby do a lot of things outside of dance, and they mm -hmm. don't show that. And we have, all of us, have a really good relationship with her. Mm -hmm. And she takes us, like last night, she took me to a movie. And oh so, I forget, Florida. I broke my foot on the show, and we were supposed to go to Disney, and I had never been to Disney. And I couldn't go because my foot was broken. And she came back to the hotel, and we were done filming. And she said, you know what? I'm going to take you. I'll push you on, around in a wheelchair. So that was really fun because that was the only time I was there. And it was sad because I broke my foot before we danced. But so that was good. I wish that aired. And then the OMG moment would have to be when I didn't say that I was better than the girls, <laughs> but they made it seem that way because yeah. that was the first episode I was on, and I was dumb to reality. TV producers. <laughs> no, I think it was, they knew exactly what they editing, were doing. A lot of editing. <laughs> yeah, but we all know that you wouldn't say something like that. Plus, I'm not better than them, so, <laughs> at all. <laughs> well, I think you guys are different styles. We too. are, all of us are. That's what makes the team good. Mm -hmm. It's very diverse, and they even each other out, and they work well together. Very versatile. Yes, very. Cool, and um, just a couple more things. Uh, 
I know you're on social media, Twitter, yes. Facebook, fan page, maybe Instagram. Can we just have all those links? Yes, my Twitter is Peyton, P-A, and then there's three Ys, T-O-N-0-3, because okay. three is my favorite number. Oh, okay. And then my Instagram is Peyton Ackerman, and in Peyton, there's three Ys again. Okay. So just Peyton, three Ys, Ackerman, all together. And then Facebook, it's just my name, Peyton Ackerman. Okay. Is that a like page or like a friend page? That is my actual personal page. Okay. So hopefully there's no posers or anything. I know you have a lot of posers on Instagram, but... I don't. It's for Facebook, it's not as many friends. So if you see someone with oh. a lot of friends, it's not me. Okay. But I accept. Okay. Well, that's nice of you it's to communicate newer. with people. It's just the newer page, it's so... Newer. Okay. Yes. Awesome. And lastly, um, can you just give a shout out to everyone who came out to the class and just all your fans, your, what is it, 500 something thousand? <laughs> um, yes, I want to thank everybody who came out to my class today and all the parents that brought their kids. Yes. And then all of my followers and fans, I wouldn't be where I am today without them, which is honestly the truth because no one knew me before and they gave me the chance mm -hmm. to dance and put myself out on TV. Yeah, <laughs> which is an amazing experience. Okay, thank you so much for making time for me and good luck at nationals tomorrow. I'm sure you'll do amazing. Thank you for this interview. Of course. Was this your first one? Oh my gosh, I'm so honored. <laughs> I'll post it too. <laughs> oh, I would love that. Cool. Thank you. Of course. Thank you. <laughs>